Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's the Bat Guru talking to you today about bat weights. Um, what you're looking at here today is five different 2019 fast pitch bats. Um, all five of them are 32 inch, 22 ounces. So scale weight on all of these is the same. They're all 22 ounces. However, and this becomes um, something that a lot of people don't know when they're out purchasing bats, each bat swings differently. So when you're looking at a bat, especially when you're about to drop anywhere from three to $400, uh, you wanna make sure that what you're purchasing is the correct uh, bat for the, for the child you're purchasing them for or if you're purchasing it for yourself. Um, but what you wanna make sure is, you wanna look at the actual scale weight, which as I mentioned earlier on these bats is 22 ounces. But it's very, very important to know the swing of your child and that they're getting the proper weighted bat as far as swing weight is concerned. So what I'm going to do is go through a real brief uh, tutorial real quick on these five different bats. This th same theory holds for baseball, depending on the design of the bat. Uh, but right now we're talking about softball. So what I have today is five bats. To the very far right is the DeMarini Insane. DeMarini actually puts a extra load at the end of their insane. So they intentionally load the end of the bat to be designed to be used for bigger, stronger power hitters. The insane is not a bat for a leadoff hitter, not a bat for a slapper, not a bat for someone lower in the lineup um, that sprays the ball a little bit. Because what you'll find with that particular hitter is that this bat will drag through the zone, so they won't be able to get it through. Your bigger, stronger girls who will get it through the zone will actually have a little bit of weight towards the end that will carry the bat through quicker. So that's the insane. Designed to be inloaded, swings heavier than the other four, uh, other four bats that I'm about to go through. Next to the Insane is the Easton Ghost, and this Easton Ghost is not marketed as being inloaded by Easton. However, it does swing heavy. Um, the Easton technology is a double wall technology in the barrel of the bat. Two walls in the barrel means more weight at the end, means a heavier swing. So the Easton Ghost, in my opinion, actually is designed for bigger, stronger hitters as well because of the weight distribution towards the end of the bat. As we go to the next one, you get to the 2019, you start to get a little bit more balanced out. Um, however, in the Louisville line, um, I don't have the PXT here, which is actually an inloaded bat for Louisville, but the Zeno is um, a little more balanced than the first two that I've uh, uh, talked about. But the Zeno, if you recall from a previous video that I put out, Zeno has two aluminum discs in the barrel, and those two discs have weight, and the weight is put towards the barrel, so the barrel is a little bit top-heavy. Not so much as the Ghost and not so much as the Insane, but um, it is a little bit top-heavy. You'll find that Louisville hitters who like the um, Louisville line prefer the bigger, stronger hitters normally prefer the Zeno. Um, the other hitters in the lineups uh, that swing Louisville bats usually go to the bat I'm about to talk about next, which is the 2019 LXT. The LXT has a design in the barrel of it as well. It has one disc in it. It's composite disc. Uh, composite's much lighter than aluminum, so there's a tad bit of weight in the LXT, but it, it really is a balanced design. So you'll find Louisville hitters um, who uh, really uh, are lead off or spray hitters will choose the LXT over the Zeno. And then the last bat in the lineup of the five I've got today is your DeMarini Zen, um, which is a pure, fuel, full balanced, long barrel, weight towards the hands, um, a great bat uh, for your kids on uh, the front of the lineup and then towards the end of the lineup because they'll have a lot more control with this bat than they would some of the others. So um, again, when you're out purchasing a bat, you need to talk to the people that you're purchasing from. You're spending a lot of money and you need to make sure they know what they're selling you. So if you have any questions, uh, ask them about the weight distribution on these bats. Do they swing heavy? Or are they more balanced? Uh, because you don't need to get something uh, that your kid can't handle and, and when they're up at the plate. So that's it for today. If you like what you're hearing from the Bat Guru, subscribe down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below um, of anything that you might like or dislike on this video. Um, and if you have any questions or any issues you would like for me to uh, bring up in my next video, email me at thebatguru at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.